everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. Today, as of this moment in time, it's Thursday, uh, Thursday afternoon, <coughs> and uh, we've got a little bit of a situation whereby we're just heading back to Southampton Docks now to get this empty container off. We are on the containers, and tomorrow we are going somewhere quite far. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's... It's a little bit annoying actually, and, and look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you now about it. So basically, um, I had a phone call this morning saying, uh, don't go past your yard because the container you gotta get next isn't ready. I was like, okay, no problem. Out of interest, where's it going? It's going to Bolton. So um, it didn't take too much time to put two and two together. The container wasn't gonna be ready for today. Fantastic, I said to myself. I was like, oh, I'll go home, no problem at all. Um, and then obviously come down first thing in the morning. And then I thought, actually, if I've got to go to Bolton, it takes two hours to get from my yard to Southampton in the morning. Two hours. And then I, I quick, do, quickly Googled how long it takes to get to Bolton from Southampton. It's four and a half hours in a car. So about five hours in a truck. So, you know, already about seven hours drive time. And uh, it takes a good four hours to get back from Bolton, back to Swindon. So, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus two hours, 10, 11, that's 11 hours driving time. I have only got nine to play with, so I'm two hours shy. So I'm having, I'm having to come down to Southampton Docks today, get this container off and parking up tonight to stand a chance of getting it all done tomorrow in one day. There is a chance that I won't actually get it done tomorrow and tomorrow's Friday. I want to be home tomorrow. <laughs> um, so that is the situation we're at now. Got to get this container off, park up for the night, very early as well, might I add. It's only quarter past two. Um, so I'm, I would have thought by the time the container's off, it's going to be like three o'clock, and we'd be parking up. And I'd like to start as early as possible, but the guys in the office don't start until seven or eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, actually, I know it's after eight o'clock. So I'm probably not going to get a VBS until eight, eight or nine tomorrow morning. Uh, and by the time I even leave the docks, it could be 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and then I've got to do the five hour drive up, which is three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, that's the wrong button then. Uh, three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, also need to have a 45 minute break. So we're talking quarter to four in the afternoon before I even get up there. Um, and then I could be there for an hour or two getting unloaded. So that's quarter to six. And then it's a four hour drive back. So it's quarter to seven, quarter to eight, quarter to nine, quarter to 10. We're looking at a very, a very late finish tomorrow. Um, possibly the latest finish I've ever had on a Friday. That's for sure. So, yeah, stick around because that's what we're going to be vlogging about. Not going to be the best of vlogs for me, I don't think, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, but yeah, that's the backstory. That's what's going to happen over the course of this video. Hopefully, you enjoy. <laughs> right, let's go get this container off. Right, that's it. Parked up for the evening. Uh, actually, I say evening. It's quarter past three. It's absolutely ridiculous what time I'm finishing work today. And absolutely ridiculous what time I'm finishing work tomorrow. Um, it's not often you get to see angry Lee. I'm not actually, I'm really not best pleased about tomorrow, I'll be honest with you. I started today at quarter past seven, finished at quarter past three. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, I've just done an 8 hour shift, that is literally the shortest shift I think I've ever done. And it's annoying because I would, I would like to have the container on now and make my way up to make tomorrow shorter. Now, it's not the company I'm doing the work for, it's not their fault, because the, the actual container isn't even off the ship, you can see if I can see the ship. I'm in the wrong place, some places you can see the ship. Um, it's, it's on there still, it's not going to be off until early hours in the morning. Now the company could help me out by someone being in the office 24-7, 24, 24 hours a day, uh, and as soon as that container lands in the morning, they could give me a VBS, phone me up, say, yeah, Luke, it's ready for you, be at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. That would be spot on. But of course they can't do that because obviously they got to go in. <clears throat> Which is all right for some people, I'd like to go in. So that's not happening. Come down, come down to Southampton. I could be home today. 
I come down just so I have a chance tomorrow and it's looking like tomorrow's going to be an utter nightmare. I have found out where I'm going. I'm going to some sort of fitness place in Bolton. Um, where is it? Uh, yeah, Fitness Systems Limited. Looks like it's down a, a tight street, so I'm not looking forward to that. So I've got it on the sat-nav now. It's telling me it's going to take me five hours and four minutes to get there, so I will need to get a full time and a break. Plus, obviously, I've got to do a bit of driving tomorrow morning in the docks. So I've got to go up there, spin round, come back down again and get into the docks. So I'll be doing about 10 or 15 minutes worth of driving before I even leave the docks. Um... And if I'm not if I'm if I'm not lucky tomorrow, then the doctors will be round. It's been round it round every morning this week. Um, this morning I was in Bristol, but um, a mate of mine who I was mentioning before, Adam Adam Grant, he um, he was here for about three hours, I think, something like that. Uh, you can have a look on uh, the website on Google. You can type in DP World Southampton. It tells you uh, how long the, the average waiting times are and where the trucks are and all sorts. So, yeah, I'm just hoping tomorrow's going to be quiet, but it won't be. Uh, it's ridiculous. I'm not starting work tomorrow until 8 o'clock, because that's when someone will be in the office, and there's no point in me starting any earlier, um, because I'd be wasting my working time, so I can't start physically start work until 8 o'clock. I might be up at 6 in the morning for two hours, just dawdling, playing something on the phone or whatever. I can't actually physically work, do any checks on this truck until 8 o'clock. Oh. I'm hoping they give me an 8 to 9 VBS. Oh, that's the other thing. And I'm really sorry, because I'm, I'm ranting here, and I'm really sorry, but... I, I've already worked out in my head when I'm going to get to site tomorrow. It's going to be about 4 o'clock. Um, and they close at half past 5. They've got a 40-foot container to one leg, so let's hope it's not all handled they might end up saying, no, oh, we can't get it all off today, you're going to have to park here tonight. Not good. Not best pleased, as you may or may not be able to tell. Welcome to my channel, and I just remembered I already started doing that yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's the morning. Um, we've been at the dock since yesterday afternoon, since three o'clock yesterday afternoon. It's now eight o'clock in the morning, so we've now been here for 17 hours. This is not good. It's it's basically a whole day wasted, almost. Um, we're awaiting a VBS number. Uh, the guys will be in the office very soon. So I'm hoping to have a VBS number by half past eight. And I'm hoping that says half eight. Uh, well, it would be an eight or nine VBS. So all i got to do is go forward, left, and then that's where I've got to be. So it literally takes me a minute to get there from here. The thing I'm worried about is the waiting times. It's a bit foggy out. DP World's website said the average wait is 90 minutes at the moment. Transfer area one is a bit busy, according to the phone. Um, and if I get held up, if I don't leave here by 10 o'clock this morning, it's going to really hamper my day, really hamper my day. And i got to hope that when I get there, when I get to where I've got to be delivered, uh, where I'm delivering to, I've got to hope that they don't take more than two hours to offload me. Otherwise I can run out of working time before I even get back to Swindon. So, 
Yeah, it's gonna be one of those days today. I'm not. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with give, being given a Bolton on a Friday, and I'm still down Southampton. It'd be fine if I got loaded yesterday, and I made my way up. But it's the fact I'm in Southampton still. It was 240 miles there, and then I got to get back as well to Swindon. Not a happy Luke. Anyway, let's uh, hang fire for this VBS and then let's go get this container on. Right, we're here at the docks still. It's now 12 o'clock. It's now 12 p.m. We've been here since 3 p.m. yesterday. We've, we've been here for 21 hours. It's, takes the mic, really does. Um, <laughs> so, I don't even know where to start. It's just been one of those days today. <sighs> we're on our way to Wales, it, change of plan. We're not, we're not going to Bolton anymore, so that's, well, that's good, to be fair. Um, then again, actually, if I was going to Bolton, it wouldn't be getting delivered today, so I'd be going straight back to the yards, but you know, got to do a delivery, so I'm now on, our way, on my way to Wales. I can't remember where exactly I'm going because I can't pronounce it. It begins with two L's and it's near Ponticlud, something like that. Um, so yeah, we're, um, we're on our way there. It's a three hour drive there. Plus we've got to get half an hour working time in because my card was in at half past seven this morning. Even though I've only done about half an hour's worth of driving, maybe, maybe more, maybe less. Um, We've still got to get half an hour break in for working time. So my ETA there is 20 to 4. Um, and I phoned them up earlier and they said the latest to take a delivery is half past 3. I then phoned the guys that were doing the work for to tell them that I've phoned them up and I don't think they were overly happy that I phoned them up. But never mind. I'm the delivery driver. I'm delivering to the customer. So I think I should have contact with the customer rather than going through different parties. It's just so much easier and quicker customer wants to know when their stuff is coming I can tell them I can tell them the best information anyway so I've, I've, I've um, told the guys we're doing the work for that the ETA is 20 to 4 um, and they said they're going to advise them so God knows what that means it might mean no take about two yards it's too late or it might mean carry on delivering it <sighs> so I put a post up on social media just now about how much of a nightmare today's been. And um, <laughs> someone was like, trucking isn't all glamorous like you show on YouTube. And I'd like to think I don't just show the glamorous side on YouTube. Hence why, before even today started, I started recording yesterday because I knew it was going to be a bad day and I wanted to get it on camera. I'm not going to lie, it feels good to get out of these bloody docks. Oh. <laughs> I instantly feel better now that I'm out of the docks. It's just, oh, it's just so annoying. Oh. Three hour drive and a break. Let's go. Two hours later, after we left the docks, we've uh, we've had our break and everything. We are cracking on now. We've um, just had a message. We've been uh, <laughs> redirected. Uh, we're no longer going to that place I can't pronounce, and we are now going to Bridge End instead. So it, it doesn't really affect the drive time. It's pretty much exactly the same. 
the fact it's, it's more motorway, slightly further away, but it's more motorway. And uh, then you come off the motorway in Britain, then the industrial estate, industrial estate I want is like just off the main road. Whereas this place I was going to, is, I think there's a little bit of country road, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, so we are going to Bridge End instead. So we're going to a place called, I think it's T T D W or something like that in, in uh, Bridge End Industrial Estate. Uh, it's, I can't remember exactly what it's called now. <laughs> Not a lot of good am I at the moment. But um, yeah, no, that's where we're going. We've got a 20 a 20 foot box on, which weighs 20 ton. Uh, I'm hoping that, because obviously I've Googled the place we're going to when I stopped, uh, and it looks a lot bigger, as in it just looks like it's uh, it's gonna be more well equipped for a container truck. So I'm hoping it'd be a case of reversing onto a bay uh, or a ramp or whatever, and they get it off ASAP and that it's on pallets. Normally 20 foot containers are on pallets, normally. Um, but there is a chance, of course, that it might need to all be handballed off. Now there is a shed load of traffic in front. These are the tolls, as you can see. I don't know if anyone's uh, seen these tolls recently, so they're all being teared down. No longer have to pay to get into Wales, which is nice. But, um, our ETA, oh look, there's a bridge there, a couple of bridges, that's cool. I'd love to do that. That'd be awesome. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so um, our ETA is 20 past three. And by the time we park up onto the bay and they get going, it'll probably be half past three. Before you know it, it'll be five o'clock. And I can see me being in Wales at come five o'clock still. I don't know what the traffic's gonna be like getting back into England. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Uh, just trying to find the positives. Today's not been a good day at all, guys. Not at all. Um, and I, I briefly mentioned it earlier. Like I don't show just the good stuff. Truck driving. Don't get me wrong. I love driving. I love driving. I love it. Just the waiting around. I don't like and waiting for 21 hours. It's not on. 11 hours of that, of course, was rest. But. Um, you know, still 10 hours wasted, that's the way I see it. I could have got loaded very early in the morning, made my way up north or wherever, Wales, wherever I was going. Um, if I was going to Wales, I could have come back down to Southampton and reload for Monday. But it's just far too late now. And uh, yeah, no, it was, unfortunately it was too foggy this morning, at uh, the docks. <coughs> so there's nothing that the planners could do about that. I understand that. But it would have been nice if I got loaded last night. Of course, they, I couldn't get loaded last night because the container was on the ship. But then give me something else, do you know what I mean? Could have done something else. Link two, because we are not going to Caddicott. Right, let's crack on. And uh, hopefully we get this off nice and quickly. So look at the positives. I'll be home hopefully by seven, as opposed to 10 o'clock, which is what it was gonna be. Look at the positives. All right then. We are just around the corner from where we need to be. I'm hoping for a very quick tip. It's, uh, it's half past three now, nearly. So yeah, I really would like to have a quick tip. Because it's gonna be a good two and a half hour drive back to Swindon. But we're seeing, we're seeing. Like I said, it's only a 20 foot box on, so. And it's heavy, which means normally it's uh, a heavy pallet or two, or ten. Right, go round here. I'll go to the left now. Yeah, 
says TDW. That might be the entrance I need to go in. But I'm pretty sure on the map I saw something somewhere around here as well. Okay, so I might be going into the wrong place. No, there's definitely trucks in here. Don't see a height on that pole. That truck passed me on the M4 earlier. And now he's here, same place as me. Right, let's go speak to someone. Right, we're done, we're offloaded. Gotta try and get out of here now, apparently it's a one-way system. But it looks very tight for an Arctic, if I'm not... If I'm telling the truth. Get out of here. Nah, it's not tight at all, we've got plenty of room. But we'll take it nice and slow in case any forklifts come sneaking around the corner. Man on the right, man on the left. Better not run either of them over. Either of them over, sorry. Right, we're out of here, I think. Don't actually know the way out, but it's not there. Where are we going then? Aha, here it is. He said something about an automated gate. I'm hoping it opens when we get next to it. Oh, excellente. So now it's a two hour drive back to Swindon. Uh, so our ETA back to Swindon is just after seven o'clock tonight. The card was in at half past seven. So we're looking at a 12 hour shift, which isn't too bad. Considering I normally do a lot more, but for Friday, it's not good and it's blah. Just all the waiting around I've had to do over the last 24 to 36 hours. It's not good. <clears throat> um, so I should probably mention that when we when we turned up, there was a truck already um, in front of us. He actually left the docks the same time as us. And I remember thinking to myself, uh, <laughs> as he drove past me, I was like, I, w I hope he's not going to the same place I'm going to. Because on the M4, when you go past uh, Newport, you obviously got three lanes on the motorway, lane one, two, and three. But lane one goes off to Newport, and lane two and three goes off to Cardiff. So I was in lane two, i.e. the correct lane. And he, uh, he basically, he snuck in on underneath on lane one, because it was a faster moving lane, and then cut in. And I never managed to catch him up. So um, he got here before me, unfortunately. So that means I've left an hour later, because um, I had to wait for him to unload first. And although it only took half an hour for them to unload, it took half an hour before that for them to get their bottoms into gear. So yeah, bit of a frustrating day today, but we're on our way back now. That's the uh, the bottom bottom line. On our way back home. So let's crack on.
I know you can't see me, but we are officially just around the corner from the yard. It is now it's about seven o'clock. It's two minutes to seven, but it, it may as well be seven o'clock. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, my taco was in at 7.30 this morning and I could technically do a 13 hour shift which means I can, well, about 12.59 to be precise, uh, which means I, could, I can legally work until 8.29 this afternoon, or this evening rather, uh, and as soon as it's only 7 o'clock, um, if I can, I'm going to wash my truck. I know it's dark and I know you can't really see much, but um, I want to wash my truck. Where's that car going? He's going left, no problem. If he was going straight on, then I would have waited, because I'd, I'd be blocking him otherwise. But yeah, I'm going to go in the yard. Hopefully no one is parked on the wash, and I can wash my truck, because it is actually minging. Um, yeah, I, I haven't actually washed it in two weeks, um, and that's because I was away all last week, and when I'd come back to the yard, I was going to wash it, as always. But, um, A, there was somebody else on the wash, and B, it absolutely hammered it down with rain. And, uh, I said to my boss, I'm not getting wet. I ain't getting out and getting wet. I'm going home. And that's what I did. And I haven't had a chance to wash it this week, because I've been out most of the week this week as well. But when I have made it home, it's been late, so I wanted to go straight home, have uh, my minimum rest off, and then come back to work. So we've just got a couple more corners to negotiate. There's a good chance, because of the time, when we get into the yard, the gate could be closed, and that's a very good sign um, to say that everyone's gone home. <laughs> if the gates are shut. Luckily there's a special code, and the code is, no, I'm not going to tell you what the code is. Did you actually think I was going to tell you what the code was? <laughs> Right, let's have a look. Gonna go inside. I've gotta do some bits and bobs to the truck, need some screen wash. Uh, need to wash the truck, get the paperwork done. Park up. That is what I need to do. And the gates are open. And no one's on the wash either. So that's good, that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be jumping straight on that wash. I've got to find somewhere to park yet as well, which is never fun at this time in the in the evening on a Friday because everyone's back. Don't want to run over the wire, the hose. Right. We're done. <laughs> well, the vlog's done. I need to. Add need to, um, uh, can't even get my words out, I need to wash the trap, that's it. So, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it, I will see you next time. Um, next video you will see is probably going to be something quite interesting regarding um, something I got planned and other vloggers have planned as well with, with, um, with a company. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a little uh, little clue. Me, Kev T, Scott Andrews, and Trucker Jenko, I've said before, we've all got something lined up. Um, we've got something lined up with a manufacturer. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna leave the vlog on that note. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, drive safe. See you soon, bye-bye. Oh, and um, cheers!